Road to Success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank. You are listening, caring partner. In life, we must make things happen. And acting is the first step to success. And that is the story of Peter Shege, only on Road to Success. watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Our guest is Peter Shege of Mineral and Allied Formulation Center. Karibu sana. Thank you very much. Nice to have you on our show. Yeah. Peter, you're very excited about the hydroponic system that you say every home in Kenya and in fact Africa should have. What is, what is it and what does it do? Hydroponics means growing plants in a nutrient solution without soil. Growing plants without soil how is that possible see the plants does not uh, consume soil it consumes nutrients which are in the soil so in hydroponics we make hydroponics nutrients we put in water so we, we replace uh, soil with water so by doing so the plants grows very fast like for four days to take only seven days as opposed to 12 weeks and also production is very high and uh, also it uses uh, that of the space normally used in a uh, confession of farming. So how did you come about with this idea? Very interesting. I was researching on how to make hydroponics nutrients because it's the heart of hydroponics. So after, uh, uh, after being able to make the nutrients, I started uh, installing those hydroponic systems for, for both fodder and vegetables. So we installed hydroponics fodder and the uh, vegetable systems. How did you get interested in this. I know you talked about that you, you were doing research, but then why this in particular, this system in particular? Another definition of hydroponics is gardening without land. Because we have talked of the, the space it requires. It requires a third of space compared to the conventional method of farming, and also using one tenth of water. So that is going to rescue agriculture. The other thing is production. Because in hydroponics, we are not using dangerous chemicals to grow the fodder because you can ask why, why is the fodder growing in seven days as opposed to 12 weeks. In hydroponics, we try to grow the perfect crop by supplying the actual amount of water, nutrients, and direction the plant requires. You can only achieve that if you have you eliminate soil and then you have the trace. Maybe you can have a, those aluminium trace and then you put water containing the nutrients, then your plant. If you do that, you'll be able to, know, to give it the actual amount of water and nutrients the plants require. So it will attain its genetic potential. You mentioned that the water must have some sort of nutrient. So it's not my water from the tap that I would put in this particular tray that I would buy from you. It has to be a particular water. If you can drink that water, it's good for hydroponics. You cannot drink it, you cannot use for hydroponics. Then in that water, we make hydroponics nutrients which you put, instead of uh, the confession of fertilizer, use hydroponics nutrients. Hydroponics nutrients is very weak modified fertilizer. Uh, at, it's weaker than uh, the, the confession of fertilizer. If you put confession of fertilizer in hydroponics, you are going to burn everything, because it's very strong for that. In fact, in hydroponics, you also know to use pesticides and fungicides, because there's no soil uh, bone diseases, like, uh, uh, like uh, nematodes, uh, bacteria root. Most people in uh, Kenya, if visited, they have stopped uh, growing tomatoes in greenhouse because of those diseases. In hydroponics, no diseases. Uh, in fact, uh, you, we are designing a system whereby at least every household, uh, an area of three meters by four meters, you can be able to produce two kilograms of vegetables per day. That can feed about five to six members of the family. At what point did you turn this into a business? Because you've come from research, you love the idea, at what point did it translate into a business? We trained farmers. Then after training, we do the quotation for, for their system to vary the number of type of animals they have or if they want vegetables. Then after that, we supply all the materials they require. Remember you said the materials, we, they, they, they are locally available. Uh, those we are not available, we are able to get them elsewhere. What is the perception of people when it comes to this concept? 
that has been the, the big challenge because of issue of saying that these are GMO. Uh, but then uh, we, we, are been, we have been helped very much by the Kenya Climate Innovators who came in at uh, make our public awareness and then we are able to have a, 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 an institution where we train farmers about that. So, so what we usually do, first of all, we train farmers so that they accept this technology. We must go for a break, but when we come back, I would like you to talk about the cost of implementing this system. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. The new Equity Auto Branch MasterCard with PayPass lets you enjoy a faster, cashless, more secure card experience. You can tap and swipe your shopping, pay your bills, and fuel at no charge. You can also withdraw and deposit cash at equity agents and ATMs countrywide and access your bank account from any MasterCard outlets worldwide when you travel. Visit your Equity Bank branch today and get yours instantly. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Our guest is Peter Shege of Minerals and Allied Formulation Center. Karibu sana. Thank you very much. What is the cost um, for somebody who would be interested in such a system for themselves? If I can give you an example for a hydroponics fodder system for a farmer with 10 cows. That's the daily cows producing over 25 liters of milk per day. Uh, 10 cows, the cost will be, uh, Kenya says, 8,000. And remember, if you, the farm, farmer uses that for you not give the animal feeds, the, the, the daily meal. You also not give the green matter, that is the, the, the napier grass. The only feed, the additional feed after feeding the fodder is the dry matter, a pasture which is dry, which he can get cheaply. So the running cost is very quite okay because a farmer will save about 150 shillings per cow per day. And also the cow will increase milk by 10%. And uh, after increasing by 10%, the fat content of the milk improves, in, increases by 15, 14%. So you have a very good milk, and also reduces the cost. But for vegetables, the cost for, for a system for hydroponics vegetables is uh, much cheaper. Because in fact what we are doing right now, the, we, we want to convert all, all greenhouses. Confession of greenhouse to hydroponics. If you have a greenhouse, we just come with the hydroponics kit and then bring in the, 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 that kit. You do you not use the soil, and also you are going to recycle all the nutrients. The, the tomatoes will produce two times, the, the, it will pro start producing at two, time, two, two months as opposed to two and a half months. Uh, the only, uh, like an, a system of uh, a greenhouse, the confession of greenhouse of 80, 80 meters by 15 meters, that kit will cost only that 1,000. We also have the cost, maybe a, fa a family of five. Mm -hmm. You can have a, a system of four meters by three meters. It will cost you around, uh, it will cost you around, around 7,000. Mm -hmm. That one, you can be harvesting two kilograms of vegetables per day. Because you're saving a lot of people cost, um, their lives, because of the chemicals and everything else. How widespread are you in terms of your company and what you're doing? We started two years ago. Of course, uh, the, the first six months was research, so it's like one and a half years. And uh, we have already installed around 300 units in Kenya. Uh, you, in Uganda, we have installed 700, one for 700 cows in Uganda. And also in Rwanda, there are some systems we are installing. We, we are installed every part of the country. What kind of structures have you put in place in your company in terms of um, reaching um, the Monainchi? We have simplified hydroponics. So, in fact, most farmers, most uh, our clients are even women and youth. Some of them, are, if we don't have to be educated to start hydroponics, because we cannot bring in some, uh, we, we have simplified. So long as we follow the procedure, uh, and that's why, first of, all, first of all, train farmers. Then you have agronomists who go to the, those uh, systems which you have installed, because you don't have to be scientists or a chemist. To, to start hydroponics because if I tell you just mix this and this and then start watering every day, although even you have other systems whereby you just, you just put water and the nutrients that you forget, you can go to a holiday and then come and harvest the vegetables because you don't have to add the nutrients to water. 
it will consume. Like now, the, the, the lettuce, you have a system for lettuce whereby you just, it's a box. It contain, inside it contains the nutrients and uh, add water. So you just plant on top. So you just plant and wait for seven, the other days you harvest. So you don't have to water, you don't have to do anything. After harvesting, then you ref refill that container with the, the nutrients, then you plant another type. In all these, what lessons have you learned? It's very good to embrace uh, innovation in agriculture because that is the only way we, we are going to, to be safe because of the population in Giza also that scarcity. Uh, and also you have to be very persistent and patient because you have really used a lot of money doing research. And I've seen people have been, have been helped by this. And also with the help of the Kenya Climate Innovators, I think uh, we are very happy that we are moving. What advice would you give anybody who would be interested in hydroponics? What I would say is every food crop farmers or livestock farmers should adopt a, a hydroponics. Because if you are finding the cost of feeds very high, at the only thing you can predict is the cost of feeds will still become, continue becoming volatile. So uh, my advice is to try hydroponics, everybody. Because it's tackling the two problems of water scarcity and land. And also, Catherine, remember in hydroponics, this te technology of hydroponics, you can grow plants all parts of the country, irrespective of rain or sunshine or soil. You can even grow in the sea or in the desert because you are not using soil. And also, it does not depend with the, the, the environmental condition of a place because you come with that system, which is found from, uh, we, we make that system from local available materials. Tell me, are you working with the youth as far as your system is concerned? Yes, most of the youth are very, they are come, really coming because one thing you say, the youth don't use, to, they don't want to use soil. You say, the soil is gardening, then I better go there. Because they're not tilling in hydroponics. You just need to have water, the nutrients, so that they are happy about it. And also, because it's also generating a lot of income in a very short period. You have the fodder. You can even, uh, they, 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 you have a, a youth group who, who are doing a very big system so that they can sell the fodder to farmers. They don't have the animals. But then uh, we are doing a sales system for 12 meters by 10 meters. That unit can feed uh, 50 cows. So they will just need farmers with 50 cows. Every day they will be selling the fodder. At that system for 50, 50 cows, they need only three people to man that system. Going forward, what is your vision? My vision is after, say, 10 years, this every household should have hydroponic. At they should know hydroponics, they should have hydroponics in their house so that you can grow the fodder. And also, if you have uh, the vegetables, and also the fodder if you have rice stock. Because the population, Kenya is increasing at a very alarming rate. The rat, we are building flat everywhere. You are not left in place to cultivate. So unless now we go back to farming, we can only do it at now innovation. Thank you so much, Peter Shege. You really, truly are the answer to so many issues that we're facing as far as agriculture is concerned. Thank you. Thank you very much also. As you've heard, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. You've been watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Have a blessed week. Road to Success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank. You are listening, caring partner.